you know, there's a verse in the Bible that says, I have not given you the spirit of fear, but to overcome. And that always resonates with me, you know? I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here with the spirit of fear. Just like in fighting, I have to fight and push forward. I'm not gonna sit here and waste time worrying about something. I'm gonna let God worry about the details and I'm gonna put in the work. Like I know for a fact, this is why he created me. He created me to be an inspiration in people's lives and show them, um, you know, to make a positive impact on people's lives through the beautiful martial art of Muay Thai. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get things situated. We do a very traditional style of Muay Thai here. Muay Thai is an aggressive martial art, okay? In true Muay Thai, is there any backing up? No. no. Muay Thai, the biggest attribute of Muay Thai and why it's captured my heart is because heart is the biggest thing in Muay Thai, okay? You have to have strong heart. You have to have good fighting spirit. It's not, that's the biggest thing in Muay Thai. I had an amazing childhood. Um, I grew up in a small town called King, North Carolina. Uh, the locals pronounce it Kang. It's a little bit of a uh, uh, kind of a southern tobacco town. Uh, my mom and dad uh, got uh, saved when I was four years old, and we started going to a uh, local church there, Calvary Baptist Church. And uh, so, man, our family, me and my mom and my dad and my brother, you know, pretty much grew up in, in the church there. I met Chris um, approximately 20 years ago. He was a student at Calvary Christian School, and I attended uh, church with him and his parents at the same time. And uh, from the moment that I met him, I knew he was a unique individual. Chris ended up being kind of a special young man. And I watched him as he grew through the years. And uh, the unique thing about Chris is that he has the ability to tie in not only uh, the aggressiveness of, of martial arts and while he's training, but also he keeps a meek spirit about him and he has the ability to remain a good Christian man at the same time. Um, a lot of people are confused as to how you can, how you can be a Christian and at the same time uh, participate in sports such as this. Um, there's, not a, there's not a mixture in that. It, you can be both. Uh, being a Christian doesn't mean that you have to be a weakling or anything else. Often it requires courage. And uh, Chris has that. He has the ability to walk and uh, be an example of who he is. He's not ashamed of who he is. And he's able to uh, maintain a, a, a positive walk with Christ as well as uh, be a professional fighter. I want you fighters being a leader. I want you leading us. Show me how it's done. Come on. Woo! There you go. Nice work. Man, he's outworking everyone. Muay Thai's taken everyone. me from traveling across the East Coast, fighting, you know, fighting in, I mean, I remember back in the day fighting in, you know, elementary schools where they put a boxing ring up or you know, old airplane hangers to, to being able to get the chance to fight in Madison Square Garden. Um, that was my final fight. It was my 40th fight. I got a chance to be the first Muay Thai uh, fighter to fight professional Muay Thai, me and uh, Brett Halvacek, which is huge. To me, yeah, there's just no top in the garden. Check this out. So if I'm up, if I'm here, what I would do 90% of the time, if he's swinging with that hook, pull versus like this, because then, you know, if he's doing that knee, he's coming up, it's just no good, you know? So it's pull and then wham, or bah, bah, bah. You know, everybody's got different paths in life that God takes them, but I believe without a shadow of a doubt that God loves everyone, every human being. God loves more than you, more than you know God loves you. God loves you more than you know God loves you. Even when you feel like you're unlovable, God loves you more than, than more than you could even know he loves you. And that's what I believe, and I, I uh, am going to give that to anybody who comes in here. I don't care what walk of life they're going to do. I'm, I'm going to give that to them because that's, um, you know, that's what I've been shown, and I'm going to give that back. It, just Muay Thai is just my, my, my canvas that I get to do that on, you know? Because you're real good at pulling, especially if you pull. You come back. Eric, um, you know, is a hard-working construction guy. He works in construction all day long on the side of a mountain. Uh, I mean, he has a tough, has a super tough job. Um, but he'd come to me, um, you know, like 200 and, I don't know, 270 pounds or something. I mean, he come to me and was just like, you know, man, you know, I, I want to do this. I want to, you know, this is what I want to do. I want to do Muay Thai. And I didn't even really, you know, I didn't even really think about him fighting at first because, I, you know, I was just like, hey, just get in here and let's train. And then he come to me, he's like, 
coach, I want to fight. I would love to represent the team and fight. It was probably one of the toughest times of my life, um, uh, spiritually, financially, mentally, in all kinds of uh, ways. And um, when I came in here, just something sparked, uh, something uh, transformed uh, very instantly. So I said, okay. I was like, we'll train you, we'll, we'll push you, and we'll take you to that point. He put in the work for over a year, and everybody would have wrote him off uh, when, you, when you saw him. Mike and Chris didn't want to tell me at first, you know, that this guy's already an experienced boxer. It was just his first kickboxing fight. And I was, I was like, you know, why didn't you tell me that first? But I understand them, you know, they can't tell me that right before the fight. Um, the ring, it was blue, and it seemed like a little ocean, you know. Um, it's just you and him, and like, you're just, just in this little ocean, and he's staring at you, he wants to rip your head off, and it was so surreal, the first punch. You know, he, he had to enter the heavyweight division, and so he was fighting guys who were ripped up, you know, legit, you know, guys are just like super big, and Eric looked at me, and he said, I'm scared, coach. He just looked at me, he said, I'm scared, but he said, you know, I'm ready. And it was about personal development with him because he went out there scared to death his first fight. And, you know, and I, I was like, listen, man, we got your back. Me and, me and Mike, we, we're together. We're going to go to war together. We're going to win. We're going to lose together. Whatever happens, you will never be the same today. You can call yourself a fighter today. So today is going to change your life. And he, he shook his head. He said, yes, sir. I said, after today, whatever happens, you will forever be a fighter. out there surprised everyone even surprised me as a coach and took it to the guy who had more experience more fights than him took it to him hit him with left hooks hit him with leg kicks kicked him in the body swept him I mean he just come after him like a like a freight train As soon as they raised his hand, I was in tears. I mean, it was a super emotional experience. And, I, and he just looked at me with a big smile and he said, I'm not scared anymore, coach. It's been like this my whole life. Always an underdog, even with football too, before I ever did Muay Thai. Um, I was tiny, you know, just smaller. Just starting Muay Thai has really, really taught me to appreciate life even more. Um, I used to be scared of violence and hitting and all that stuff. And now, I have much more respect for it and you know now I really know why I'm fighting and uh, I just really think God's placed this journey for me for a reason. My life verse when it comes to to this is whatsoever thy hand findeth to do do with all thy might as to the Lord. Um, so you can be flipping burgers, you can be a gardener, whatever you do that's your passion you do it wholeheartedly not standing on two sides of the fence, not thinking, ah, wait, today I might just sleep in, I'm gonna do this. Every day I get up, I come to this gym, and I say, I'm gonna do everything I can. I'm gonna work my heart out, because that's what God would expect me to do. I, God expects me, he's allowed me to be in this place, he's allowed me to follow my passion, and he's given me this passion, so whatsoever thy hand find it to do, do it with all thy might. Not a little bit, do it with all thy might. Get it up, get it up, let's go. Give me your heart, give me your heart, give me your heart. Everything you got left in the gas tank. I don't want you leaving, taking anything to the house. Leave it all here, leave it all here. Let's go, 15, come on, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Yes, you can, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. Woo! And you guys in the ring can just throw your hands over. All right, guys, excellent work today. Eight points on three. One, two, three, eight, eight points. points. Go, 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 go. Good job today, team. Good job.